Welcome to our A to J Author 2017 training series. This is Jessica Frank with the Center for Computer Assisted Legal Instruction. Our training video series this year will have four videos. The first video, which is what you're watching, is how A to J Author and Hot Docs work together and a basic overview of document assembly and an introduction to A to J Author. The second video will cover the overview of A to J Author, the software, and a basic question design process. The third video will cover macros and functions. Finally, the fourth video will cover repeat loops, advanced logic, and tips and tricks from our uh, more experienced authors. Today's video will be an introduction to A to J Author and how A to J Author and Hot Docs work together. A to J Author was first created in 2004 as the first pro se friendly front end interface for document assembly. It's been used almost 4 million times in the past uh, 12 years to help pro se litigants produce over 2 million documents. A to J Author is in about 44 states and 4 countries as of 2017. The whole point of the interface was to have a lot of white space, to take complicated court forms and break them down into small chunks, a couple of questions, one or two, per screen, and to provide the end user with a guide avatar to lead them, their end user avatar, to the courthouse where they can then complete their document. We also have a feature called Just-in-Time Learning, which we'll talk about in the next video which allows the author, you, to give your end users information, be it graphics, video, text, right at the point in which they would need that information. So this screenshot shows an example of a Learn More, which is one of our just-in-time learning features. So how document assembly works. The idea is that there is a court form or some sort of government form that has blank spaces that need to be filled in by the end user. Those blank spaces are represented by variables. Those variables then are used in the template, in this case most likely hot docs. That template is created, then those variables are imported into A to J Author where they're used in the question um, that you ask the end user. So you take the same variables that are in the template and use them to gather that information from the end user. The end user then is shown a series of questions that whatever they type into the fields is saved into that fields variable. Those variables are saved in an answer file. That answer file in A to J author is saved in an XML format called ANX. It's the hot docs answer file format. That answer file, then when the end user finishes, they click get my document or submit. Then their answer file is passed to Law Help Interactive's Hotdocs server, where it's compiled with the underlying Hotdocs template. And the values held by those variables are input into the document for the end user. Big picture, the end user completes the guided interview on their tablet, their phone, or their computer. They go through a series of questions and screens. At the end, their answer file then is transmitted to LHI, to the hot doc server, and the end user gets their document, either emailed, printed directly, or saved to come back to later. Thanks for watching. That's a basic overview of how document assembly works with A to J Author and Hot Docs. The next video in this series can be found on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash A to J Author. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me, jessica at cali.org. Thank you.